for you today, and the first one of which is just over here in my box. You may have seen me, me put him in there just a few minutes ago, so I'll let him out for you now and you can all see him a bit closer up. This is Manfred. Manfred is a palm nut vulture, a very noisy one at that as well. Just going to put him around the outside of the arena here so you can have a nice look at him. This isn't your opportunity to poke and touch Manfred, otherwise he may treat your little finger like this little juicy piece of chicken I'm giving him now. Now like I said, this is a vulture and I'm sure some of you are aware, or most of you in fact, that we don't actually have any vultures native to the United Kingdom. None at all. This particular species of vulture, the palm nut vulture, originates from Africa. But Manfred here was born in a wildly exciting place called Carmarthen down in South Wales. So he's actually Welsh, believe it or not. Take a good look at Manfred. When you say vulture, he doesn't exactly fit into the description of a vulture, does he? He's got feathers all over his head, whereas many other species of vultures tend to have a bare naked head or quite a fluffy head. The only thing that might give him away is that slightly elongated neck and the rather unfamiliar bird of prey hook-like beak. Manfred's beak's long and narrow, hence the name palm nut vulture. This is one of the only species of vulture or bird of prey in the world that actually eats nuts as a food source. Palm nuts, a very, very high source of protein, but he doesn't actually eat the entire nut. Just look at his beak there, he's trying to hold that piece of food in his foot there, and not doing a very good job at it. There you go, just eat it, Manfred. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, nearly dropped it. Hence the name palm nut vulture. His beak is specially designed to chisel off and peel the husk off the palm nut. The husk on the outside is incredibly soft, and Manfred's beak is perfectly designed to chisel it off, and he will actually discard the nut Afterwards, he's eaten the, eaten the husk because he can't actually digest the nut itself. It's far too hard for him to, to digest in his stomach juices. But for a palm nut vulture, he wouldn't eat nuts purely as a main, as a main food source. For him to eat nuts entirely, he would have to eat 60, maybe 70 palm nuts a day just to give himself a decent feed. And that would include a fair amount of flying and going off to the top of palm nut trees and pulling them off with his powerful feet and eating the husk off the outside. So when I bring Manfred back over here, I'll put him on the outside of the arena. He's actually shaped more like a very, very small eagle or maybe a large type of hawk. Vultures tend to have a certain shape to them. They have really long bodies, long necks, and the legs that tend to be further back and they tend to have quite a funny wobble when they walk. But Manfred here, as you can see, he stands in an upright position. He's got massive, very, very powerful feet also, which vultures don't tend to have. Look at the size of his talons. They're sometimes known as vulturine fish eagles. In Africa, these birds will sometimes hang around muddy wallows where catfish tend to get stranded in the, in the subsiding water. And what Manfred will do, he will just wade into the water. He won't go and catch it like a bald eagle or an osprey. He won't dive onto the surface of the